Hello everybody and welcome to the Diversity of Life series with me, Massey. So throughout this series I'll be talking about mostly different species and different concepts in biology. To start off with, I thought it would be good for you guys to get to know the furry part of me and learn about my fursona, which is a griffin. However, it's not a conventional griffin, it's not made up of a lion and an eagle exactly. I'm made up of a marvelous spatula tail hummingbird and a ring-tailed mongoose. So for this episode, I'm going to talk about the marvelous spatula tail hummingbird, or Lodigesia mirabilis. Now this species is part of the larger family of hummingbirds, Dracilidae. Hummingbirds are extremely small birds and so the largest they get is usually about 13 centimeters. That's pretty small and the smallest species of hummingbird known is 5 centimeters in length and weighs less than 2.5 grams and is the bee hummingbird. Hummingbirds can beat their wings up to 70 times per second. At this speed a car would be moving at 30 miles per hour. With beating their wings so fast their hearts can reach up to speeds of 1260 beats per second. You have to be very careful when you're handling hummingbirds because because if you stress them out in any way, this can give them a heart attack. Because they have such high activity, they have the highest metabolism of any organism. This means that they process food and sugars and maintain their body temperature at a faster rate than any other animal. Because of this, in order to conserve energy during the nighttime or when there is scarce food resources, they go into a state called torpor. Torpor is kind of a halfway between sleep and hibernation. So in essence, their body functions shut down to a 1 1 15th of their normal state. Marvel of spatula tail hummingbird nests are really cute. They're no bigger than the size of your palm. The eggs that they lay are only about 0.62 grams. That's one third the weight of a dime. Since the babies can't fend for themselves, the females can go and hunt and gather food for them. The means by feeding the offspring is called trophallaxis. This is where the females will store part of the food that they gather in a separate chamber in their stomach and then regurgitate it into the offspring's mouth. Mm-mm, good. Hummingbirds are very smart organisms. 4.2% of their body weight is made up of their brain. That's more than any other organism on the planet. This large brain allows them to memorize exactly which flowers they've been to and how long it'll take those flowers to refill. All hummingbirds have a very similar diet where they feed on nectar and small bugs for a source of protein. However, the plants that they feed on specifically varies from species to species. One of the most recognizable characters of the hummingbirds is their beak. Hummingbird beaks are always very specialized and this is because they are used to collect nectar from deep flowers. In many cases, the flowers have co-evolved with the hummingbirds to become a certain shape so that the hummingbirds are only ones that can get access to their food resources. Their tongues are actually very long and very fast as well. They can lick up to 20 times per second to get the nectar they need to survive. The marvelous spatula tail hummingbird specifically is native to Peru. It is only known from a very small region within the Amazonas, a 50 to 100 kilometer squared area of land. Unique to most bird species, the marvelous spatula tail hummingbird only has four tail feathers. Most species have eight plus to navigate in the air. This species is also sexually dimorphic, which means that the males and females look different from one another. The males are often more vibrant. They have highly reflective feathers to attract a mate. One of the elements of the sexual dimorphism in the marvelous spatula tail hummingbird males is that two of their tail feathers are elongated, as you can see on my butt. These tail feathers are used in courtship display. So the marvelous spatula tail hummingbird will fly between these tail feathers and flip between them to try and woo a mate, as you can see in this video. The marvelous spatula tail hummingbird is on the IUCN red list. The IUCN red list is a nine level scale of endangered species. It starts at very little threat and goes to extinction. On the nine level scale, the marvelous spatula tail hummingbird is third last on the list. This means that it's an extreme risk for going extinct. Currently, the estimates of the population are only about 350 individuals. The good news is in 2006, there was a plan that started to set aside 100 acres in Peru for conservation of just this species. So within this area of land, they started to do extensive measures to plant flowers that they are specialized in. If you want to know more about the marvelous spatula tail hummingbird and you liked what you heard here, be sure to check out the links below. I have a link to the IUCN page for the species so you can learn more about what its status is and how it's progressing. Also, the video of its mating display was part of a BBC series by David Attenborough. If you wish to see the segment on the marvelous spatula tail hummingbird specifically, go check out the link below. I want to hear from you guys as well. Did you find the information useful? Did you find it interesting? What was your favorite part of the video? Please let me know in the comments below. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, or check me out on Twitter where you can find out more about my furry antics and regular updates. Hope to see you guys next time. See you later. Mm.